Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name is Julie. I'm going to do a timeless tarot card reading for you, Aquarius. I'm just going to trust whenever this reading comes across your screen. That's when you're meant to see it. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Can't tell you how much I appreciate you. If you'd like a personal reading from me, my email address is in the description box below. Just send me an email. We can talk about that. And just a reminder, this is a general tarot card reading for the sign of Aquarius anywhere in your chart, or if you're just checking in on an Aquarius, <clears throat> all are welcome here. <laughs> Excuse me, just might not resonate with all. I'm losing my voice already, Aquarius. I'm going to try to hang in there. All right, let's see what is going on with the sign of Aquarius spirit. What is going on with Aquarius? Let's get a moon oracle card. Have faith in your dreams, the waxing crescent moon. Look at this Aquarius. Hold on. Hold on to that vision. Hold on to that dream. Beautiful. Don't let pride get in your way, the full moon in Leo. I wonder what that's all about. You normally don't let your pride get in the way of anything. And the end of a tough cycle approaches the full moon in Capricorn. Beautiful. All right. Let's see. I like the end of a tough cycle. Probably from the eclipse, the 4-8 eclipse that came in on uh, April 8th. So yeah, big changes after that. Big changes in the energy after that. I'm feeling a huge sense of relief. I don't know about you. I do feel like the end of a really tough cycle has closed with this seven-year cycle between the eclipses from 2017 until this last one on April 8th here. So really closing out some big, big changes. Anyone who listens to me, anyone who resonates with my readings about the energy and the energy around you, you know, you know what you've been through the last seven years. You've had to really look at life differently. So let's see what that was all about, though. What are these new changes coming in? What is this new perspective coming in for all of us? So let's see. Let's see. Animal Spirit Guide for Up in the Ether for the Sign of Aquarius. What is going on with Aquarius? Animal Spirit Guide. Wow. This one came hopping out. The oyster, the bat, and the shark. Look at this. Very private. You're a very, very private soul. People don't get to hear the uh, details of your thoughts here. I <laughs> love that, Aquarius. You're very private. Bat, you fly by this different set of rules here. You gain some kind of sense, some kind of uh, sense to navigate now through the happier waters has picked up now. You've gained some ability. You've gained some... Um, ability. Yeah, beautiful. And you've really honed in on it. You've really fine-tuned this ability. Look at that full moon, that ending, that completion here, and the shark. You're going after something. You're going after your happiness now. You're going after your goals, your dreams now. You're just going after something differently. Something else has caught your eye. Wow, wow, wow. Have faith in your dreams. And the crow, look at this, sitting on some spiritual information, sitting on some kind of nugget, some kind of nugget of truth, but you seem to be in a little bit of a crossroads with the spider. You've built some kind of empire here, and you are in protection mode right now, very much protecting this truth. What is that all about? What is that all about? That's why the oyster is here too, that protection, that clammed up, that don't reveal something here. What is that all about? What's that, what's the tarot card? Completion. Yes, Aquarius. Look at this. The end of that road. There's a new road opening up, a new way opening up. But the completion, something about the completion. We've got to put that above. Don't let pride get in your way. The end of a tough cycle approaches here. Completion. Done. Finished. Finite. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. No thingness. So you go from the end of this very, very hard, hard, tough, tough journey here, really getting through, persevering through things. And then you walk into this very, very stillness moment, this very complete, maybe that happened under the eclipse for you, Aquarius, but everything felt like it stopped and moving in slow motion for a minute there. There was a moment in this recent past here where everything went too dark. It was this massive reset with you, this massive wake up call for you to notice what's underneath here, to notice what's been going on these last seven years, the lessons that have been gained. Ooh, Aquarius, you have woken up. You've woken up now and you are uh, different, very different because <laughs> it's over. That cycle is over. So you're a changed person from the events in these last seven years. All right. What are you thinking about? 
What are you thinking about right now? What is on your mind? Look at this rising up the elevation with the Hierophant, the Page of Wands, really going for your passions and justice. There's that fellow Libra uh, balance sign coming into the mix here. The higher authority has spoken. This is your new law now. This is your new blueprint now. This is the way that it's going to be. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. Really, really taking control of your thoughts. Understanding that what we think, our thoughts become beliefs here. So you're really, really managing and taking care of what you're thinking about, what you're focusing on, what you're looking at. Again, I see this looking underneath, looking be beyond the headlines, beyond the lines, beyond what is shown to you, looking at those deeper layers. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a karmic justice completion here. The the lesson is over. The uh, the lesson has been absorbed. It's not that it just ended and it's going to come back and bite you one day. It's been absorbed. It's been merged. It's been, and you've acclimated to this lesson. So this is why this is you now. This is the new you now. <laughs> this is the new normal for you. So get used to it. <laughs> get used to things working out. Get used to seeing the other side of some real perilous times here. Future, future thought, future. Oh, I didn't even notice that the hermit had flipped. Look at this Virgo energy coming into the mix. Cleaning out, cleaning house, cleaning the toxicities, the things that have held you back, the worries, the fears, the angst here, just really, really clean in house for you. It's just like a transfusion, a transfusion for you that gives you life back, that gives you energy back, that gives you... Uh, everything back. It's like this huge, huge return, but nothing uh, of that, that harshness is left behind here. When you open up that shell, when you really emerge and you come out of this nothingness, this quiet time, this silent time, this rebooting time, uh, it, it's going to be a whole new ball game for you, Aquarius. Whole new ball game. Your eyes are wide, wide open now. Wide open. Eyes wide open. <laughs> Spirit, what's your advice? This flipped out right away, the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles sneaking away with your power. Oh my God, and the Sun. Look at this major arcana. You've got the World card with the number 21 with completion up in the ether. You've got the Hierophant. You've got Justice. You've got the Hermit. You've got the Sun. <laughs> wow. Wow, brand new beginning for you. Just a brand new day. The dawn has come here. You felt like you're sneaking away almost, like you don't want to have any part of that past here. So nobody tell on me that I'm going on this trip or that I'm going on this journey now, this exploration now of uh, what's next here, the exhilaration coming into you, the excitement of exploration coming back to you. It's just absolutely beautiful. You are an entrepreneur now. You make your own rules. You make your own life uh, schedule now. So that is beautiful because you're scheduling in the good. You're scheduling in the vacation. You're scheduling in the quiet time, the nothingness, the fishing trip. The You're scheduling it in. It's part of your life. It's part of your day now to schedule that in for you. You're very scheduled person, <laughs> whoever I'm reading for. And it works beautifully. You loving what you're doing now. You're loving what you're doing now. You're just really not feeling like you're trying to get away with something when you take that break or you take that quiet time. It's just part of your schedule. It's beautiful. This is a beautiful transformation of your thoughts here, Aquarius, because uh, you're just understanding that the lesson has been learned. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Mistakes were made, but lesson learned. And beautiful, beautiful transformation into the sun. Wow. That just moment of pure joy for you. All right. What's coming? What's in the heart space? What are you feeling right now? What is Aquarius feeling right now, spirit? What is Aquarius feeling right now? Boy, look at this heartbreak, this sorrow and the three of pentacles, the two threes, number 33 here, a master number. But the lessons, the lessons themselves, they were just gut wrenching, gut wrenching for you. Number three is a prominent number. Maybe it came in threes. It always does, right? It always comes in threes. Maybe that's the Holy Trinity. But that Holy Trinity for you has been complete. You've gone through all of it. It wasn't just one lesson in your life. It wasn't just one little thing. It was a massive transformation, a change in your life path. A real, if you're on your palm, probably there's a big split there. There's a before and an after here. 
challenge. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. What is the challenge in the heart space for Aquarius? What's the challenge? King of Wands wanted to come out. What's the challenge in the heart space? Four of Pentacles, you holding on. You've been holding on a very long time. It's hard to release that grip. It's really hard to release that control over your emotions when you're going through so much, when you're just not even uh, on the, the right vibration with yourself. You can feel how out of whack that you are at times. And so you are holding on. You're holding on to the to the uh, things will change. Things always change. Hold on. Hold on here. So you've been doing that a really long time. But now you're letting go of the grip. You're letting go of that need to control how you're feeling because things are just getting easier. Experiences are becoming easier. Plans are becoming easier. There's not all these roadblocks or these uh, uh, real, real detail-oriented planning where you have to plan it down to the last detail. It's not like that any longer. It's just, you know what, I'm going to take a break on Sunday. And then it just, it really flows into that being manifested here. Those are your manifestations coming true. This is beautiful. You're just really, really making time for the good now. And you're letting go of that grip. You're letting go of that grip that the grief has had on you. It's like the lungs can expand now. The energy, your spirit, your uh, whatever that is inside of all of us trying to get out. It's just really expanded now. It's expanded beyond uh, where it was. It's just like this balloon just taking this big, big a deep breath with you. It's just like this expansion happening. It's so beautiful. Future, future feeling, future feeling for Aquarius. Future feeling, future feeling. Ace of Cups, the heart fulfillment and the tower. Aquarius, Aquarius, your life has changed. You are not on the same path. You are not on the same uh, journey any longer. It's just really, really a change of destinations now, a change of goals, dreams, plans, but you making the time to do that, you making the time to make sure you're getting in the fun today because there's no use forsaking today for an idea of what tomorrow is going to bring here. This is an absolute reckoning with you, a true, true understanding that it starts with me, it starts with me. My God, is this a big transformation for you? A true, true completion. Just this understanding absorption <laughs> where you're just becoming one with this understanding. It's not even like uh, uh, a eureka and you're running around telling everyone what you found out here. It's not like that. It's not this bolt of lightning understanding. This understanding has been gained throughout these past seven years. <laughs> wow. These were bolts of lightning for every year of that. It's just you had to go through a huge, huge, huge release. You had to learn how to rise above the externals, how to rise above what was actually happening. Really, really um, holding on. My God, are you powerful. You are unbreakable at this point. I'm thinking of Bruce Willis in uh, Unbreakable. I mean, really, that is it. That is it. You just are unbreakable. <laughs> and doesn't all, don't all the energies understand that about you now? You're just this different uh, energetic uh, pillar now. You just can move. You're more the water than the rock here. It's just beautiful. What is this all about in this very powerful reading? In the foundation, in the foundation for Aquarius, Knight of Swords. Look at this. Look at this. You are on the hunt. You are on a journey now. You are on... It's just a whole new ball game. You just, you know exactly what you want and you're running toward it. And there's just literally nothing that's going to stop you. You have dissolved, you have removed all of the obstacles, all of the hurdles, all of the uh, ties to the grief that really can succumb, any one of us can succumb to. And we do, oh my God, over and over throughout our lives, right? But uh, it's different for you now absolutely different for you now you've completed some kind of big big cycle some kind of massive cycle in your life and uh <clears throat> you're feeling very free very free <laughs> freedom <laughs> aquarius this is glorious <clears throat> what else what else in the foundation 
the queen of wands and the 10 of pentacles really really getting what you want now really really it's just coming to you it's just uh the law now it's the karmic law now aquarius to give you peace to give you fulfillment your heart's fulfillment your heart's desires now to open up that genie in a bottle for you and let that energy that has been suppressed and pushed down and uh suffocated with you just let it free it's just opening pandora's box for you spirit has opened that portal for you and it's just absolutely beautiful it's all your dreams coming true here it really is it's really is all those nuisances all those things that held you back that got in your way that you were worried about that you were terrified was uh, uh going to be your future here it just all melts away as you take your power back you get your confidence back now now everything you touch touch turns to gold, Aquarius. <laughs> oh, God, do you deserve this? Do you so deserve this? All right, what's the future? Future foundation, future foundation. Four of swords, look how protected you are. You're very, very much protected in this nest of energetic, uh, unconditional healing now. It's just really meant for you. This healing time, this quiet time, this reboot time. This is for you. This was divinely orchestrated just for you, just for you, you beautiful soul who has been through so much turmoil, so much turmoil. You know, the tower cards are number 16. This could be, you know, go back a long time here. <laughs> Well, of course, because anything that comes crashing down this hard uh, had to gain momentum fast. It's like that speeding car, that uh, burning star, that falling star. I mean, that had to have really, really burned hot before uh, the silence, before the burnout. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. All right. Any advice in the foundation for Aquarius? What's your advice? King of Cups. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this. You know, my brother is an Aquarius and he's he's an attorney, of course, right? What Aquariuses aren't natural born attorneys, but <clears throat> he is um he has gone through some things these past seven years. I gotta tell you that. But I always think when I'm pulling cards for him, when I'm reading for him, when the King of Cups pulls out, I always think of my brother and and it's odd because he's an Aquarius, but he's wearing this Pisces necklace and um, just all up in his emotions, all up in his uh, feels now. And he's really letting himself feel because Aquarius really is balanced, very, very much balanced. My brother's always just been so balanced his entire life and um, knows how to compartmentalize, knows how to prioritize. And it's a beautiful, beautiful Aquarian trait here. But yeah, here comes the King of Cups. So yeah, the balance the balance, the shutting it down for a minute, just letting yourself go for a minute, really, really falling into meditation and going blank, going blank. But getting back into your emotions of it, really letting yourself feel, just really going into more of the cups energy here. Maybe that's part of the transformation is from that stoicness, that uh, oh God, that strength just into more of a emotional person, really, really starting to um, open up. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. I, what's what's on the bottom of the deck? The Ace of Wands. Look at this intense focus. You're focused on this dream. You're focused on this new path opening up, this brand new beginning. I mean, look at these two aces in the heart space with the tower in between. <sighs> But see how you go from thinking everything out, from being that pragmatic, real practical uh, person into going to much more, how do I feel about this? How do I feel about this? It used to be, I, I think you used to ask yourself, what do I think about this? And now you're asking yourself much more on a daily basis. How do I feel about this? It's much more important to you how you feel about something than what you think about something, really moving into the heart and out of the mind. <laughs> Let's get some clarification on that. You're rising up, you're elevating up, you changed your vibration. Your vibration is completely changed. Your, uh, the way you even uh, moving throughout your day now is completely different, completely different. You are lighter. You are uh, uh, not going so much into the grief any longer here. You're really, really feeling that upliftment. There's something lifting you up here. Two of Pentacles, you're on the fence right now. 
you were on the fence. You've been juggling this for a while. You've been really juggling the light and the dark for a while. It truly was a battle. It really, really was to find the light within the dark. It just, you had to really go on a hunt, really hunt out what was pulling you forward and what was keeping you going until that gained up so much momentum. It just bursts wide open. It's just almost like a boil that builds and builds and builds. And then that eruption, that relief, that release, you know, these abscesses that grow and they, they feed on themselves and they spread and they, you know, it just really, really is a true letting go, a true releasing of the toxins here, a true detoxification for you. But, you know, in order to detoxify, you got to go into that dark place. You got to go into that quiet place where uh, you're not thinking of the reasons why and you're not thinking of well, what happens if here. You're just really letting yourself be silent for a minute. It's absolutely beautiful. What helps with that? What helps with that? The seven of wands, some kind of adventure, some kind of journey. Five of wands, interesting competition. Queen of Swords. I love this card coming out for you in your mind space. It's like you've muzzled the mind. You've muzzled those thoughts that uh, uh, had you worried or had you up at night. Knight of Swords, too. Again, it really was a battle. It was a battle to uh, stay in your character, stay in your your true core belief system here with all of this going on around you with all of this chaos and uh, disruption, a lot of disruption these past seven years. Yeah, you have muzzled it. You've muzzled your mind, which helped you to muzzle the rest of the chaos. It was just noise. It was just noise. So you shut it down. You turned the channel on that noise. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Even your own. You wouldn't let your own noise get in the way either. Very, very uh, beautiful transformation. All right, let's take a look at this heart space. Look at this with the three of swords, the three of pentacles, the four of pentacles, the holding on that tight grip, the ace of cups, the dream coming true, the heart transformation. You see in the heart space there she's that she's holding that cup. There's a butterfly in there. So the true, the big coming out of the cocoon, the cocoon was the quiet place. The cocoon was the resting time. It was the nest. But you've burst through now. You have uh, uh, moved through that phase of your life and you are out of the cocoon now. And I want to see what you're feeling. I want to see what you're feeling now that you're out of the cocoon. You're out of the cave. What is, what is Aquarius feeling? What are you feeling? <laughs> Death and rebirth. <laughs> you're feeling it. You're feeling it. Look at that beautiful white rose, that peace offering. This is about your peace. This is absolutely about your peace and you feeling peace wherever you go. There you are. You are bringing peace with you. You are bringing balance with you. Uh, and it's just like um, Pigpen in Charlie Brown. It's just your aura now. It is your uh, uh, surroundings now, your energy that you have summoned. It's just peace, peace. Wow, wow, wow. What else? What else? Tell me about this tower. Queen of Wands, a Queen of Wands twice here. It's about your power, taking your power back, not letting anyone uh, get in control again, not letting anyone make you feel a certain way or how they were trying to make you feel here or, or um, agree with or disagree with here, just a pulling of, of sides here. So you severed that. You absolutely severed that. This is about you taking your power back, about you getting control of the way you feel about things absolutely beautiful. Let's take a look at the foundation here. I want to see what you're running towards with all this confidence, all this uh, just kind of knowing, this knowing that nothing's going to burst my bubble again. Nothing's going to, um, uh, you're just so armored up. You're so protected from spirit. You are absolutely protected and you know this. You can feel this protection around you. But what are you running towards? What is this? The three of wands, you're preparing for something, you're planning something, you're getting ready to go somewhere or do something. And the two of swords, you're making decisions about it. You are in planning mode right now. You're talking about it. You're um, uh, really getting ready to go somewhere or do something or get involved in something or, uh, but you're, you're at a little bit of a crossroads. What's the crossroads about in the foundation? Why is Aquarius at a crossroads? The five of swords, the competition around you and the king of wands, the king of wands steps in. So yeah, yeah, there's a little bit of um, competition around this or um, maybe you have a lot of options. I think that's what it is, is you have a lot of options to choose from now because of these tower moment, this change of heart, this change in direction here. And um, 
yeah, it's just a lot of, it's like planning for a wedding and you have a million choices to make. It's all in um, the betterment of the day. I mean, you're looking forward to this beautiful day, but it's just right now you're dealing with all the details of it. You're dealing with all the nuances of it so, you, so that you can plan it well. But the good news is, is you're using your heart and not your brain. <laughs> so maybe if you used to be cheap or you used to be stingy and now you're like, you know what, that's worth it. <laughs> that's going to make me feel good. So you're not thinking about the cost so much as you are the benefit now, Aquarius. Absolutely beautiful. I love, love, love this reading for you, Aquarius. All right. All right. Big, big changes on the bottom of the jacket deck temperance oh my god i almost lost my tongue there i was tongue-tied temperance temperance sagittarius energy this is more about your fire than your air at this point now than that logic than that practicalness of yours this is much much more in the heart arena this is much more you making decisions from the heart and following your gut and following your intuition and really muzzling anyone who doesn't understand what you're doing it just really in your mind it doesn't matter doesn't matter if you understand or if you get me <laughs> but it makes everyone around you so happy and free and wanting to be around you because you're just emitting this aura like I said it's just like this energy that's aura with yours that is um brilliant and bright and um it's like the Pied Piper people want to follow you <laughs> yes I want to follow you I'm clicking follow <laughs> I subscribe to you Aquarius all right, I'm going to leave it here. If you like this reading, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Aquarius, thank you, thank you, thank you for hanging in this long and for listening this long. God bless you if you have. <laughs> I am sending you all my love and light, Aquarius, and I will definitely tune in with you soon.